Well, hello there, friends, and welcome to Phantom Covert Ops. I'm playing today on my HP Reverb G2 via Revive. So here we are. We're getting back into Phantom Covert Ops as part of our Beat It Challenge initiative. When I think about games I want to circle back to, games that I really enjoyed that I want to finish, I mean, this is near the top of the list. And then when I consider the prospect of going into this, which is one of the most immersive games that I played from 2020, in the G2 headset, which ratchets up the immersion all that much more, it's kind of a no-brainer. So uh, let's get in here and check it out. I'm sure it's going to be awesome. As usual, as is always the case with the Beat It Challenge, we're going to start to finish on this one, so whatever progress we have in here, we're going to erase and just start clean. We're going to go to campaign. New game. Yes. We go with normal. Phantom unit, listen up. NATO has detected suspicious activity inside a derelict Cold War naval facility on the coast of the Black Sea, Voldat Base, formerly a production hub for chemical weapons until NATO intervened. My unit hit the base in 66, leveled the operation with an airstrike and killed their leader, a rogue Soviet general by the name of Nikolai Zhurov. NATO believes that a new threat may be following in Zhurov's footsteps. We've been tracking a number of high-value targets, killers, seditionists, and war criminals, and they are congregating, forming some sort of militia centralized in this base. We do not know what they're planning, but Moscow is in fear of a second revolution. Someone is building an army, and that is where the Phantoms come in. Zero Two, I'll be leading a helo insertion on the outer perimeter of the base. From there, we need you to bypass their defenses. The site was heavily flooded after the airstrike, so you should have no shortage of entry points. Once you're in, evaluate the threat. You know who else has no shortage of entry Russian points? Russian forces already sent in a man to investigate, and they have not heard from him since. This is a single agent recon no, operation. Not Leon. Keep it quiet. Minimize casualties. They cannot know we were there. Once you have the intel for us, proceed to extraction. Then NATO will determine an intervention plan. Extraction occurs tomorrow at 0400 hours. Understood, Major. Zero Two, I'll be commanding the operation. No one knows this place better than me. You're in good hands. So let's move out. This game's so awesome. So looking forward to checking this out in this super high resolution display. in front of you, have your reloads. Make every round count. Command actual to all phantom call signs. We have you in position. Operation is a go. Copy that, command. We're going dark. Zero two, you are cleared to deploy. Remember, this is a stealth mission. Get in, assess their operation, then get out. And watch yourself, you hear me? We don't know what's waiting for you. I got an idea.
absolutely beautiful. It's really the directional audio. Security, this is Command Actual. I'll be your conduit for intelligence data while you're in the field. It's good to be working with you. Our assets in country have reported suspicious activity in this area. Your mission is to investigate and evaluate any potential threats. We've tried to intercept local communications, but it looks like someone's using frequency scramblers. Priority one is to neutralize those sources of interference and get us signals access. Yes, ma'am. So what really drives the immersion in this game is a combination of these superb directional audio uh, along with the lighting effects the, the way that they've uh, got a very realistic surface of the water here and the way the light interacts with it really creates a sense of realism that I haven't seen in very many VR games Now this is a stealth game, so the object is to get in and get out without being seen. But the cool thing about it is, is they don't force that on you. You can uh, you can go in like Rambo, right? Rambo 2, he's supposed to go in, not kill anybody, but ends up taking them all on himself. Alright, it says hold the button to make a sharp turn. Alright, there we go. We got it. Takes a little, a little getting used to. It's been a while since I played. Oh, wrong, wrong button. We got it. Now. What's up there? Something up there. Got some reeds up here. These are your best friend in this game. I just want to get in these and chill sometimes to hide from the enemy. You see, you have this little indicator here. It tells you when you're hidden or visible. Very handy. for breaking I don't even know it just give me a check mark before I look through the viewfinder it says we're gonna put it there grab our viewfinder here take a photo it'll scan the area excellent image I've identified a way in Destroying that control panel should release the locking mechanism. Yeah, so what we have to do here is, uh, as I said, shoot that control panel. Your, uh, your night vision goggles work to uh, point out targets of interest. And generally, just things to shoot. Grab this, put it on, 
points it out, drop it. And the cool thing, or a cool thing about this game is it's not just a, uh, a story-driven driven stealth adventure, but there are also uh, points involved. You're being scored based on time, based on how quiet you get in and out, and uh, there are online leaderboards, so pretty cool. Now, I'm not worried about any of that. I'm just playing to complete the story campaign. Points be damned. You know, if I got to take a guy out, I'm going to take him out. So I'm gonna let this truck pass up there in the distance you see. So it has some uh, missiles on board, huh? place for sure you can hide inside the reeds your threat scanner will inform you when you're hidden stay perfectly still they'll pass don't move the reeds are excellent camouflage Reporting in. No sighting yet. Over. Reporting in. Area is clear. Over. So I want to shoot all these dudes. Slow and steady, zero two. What in the hell is up there?
And now we got dudes surveilling the water. This is not the best situation. Proceed what? with care, zero two. Survey the area ahead with your viewfinder. Mark any threats and plan your route accordingly. Understood? Your primary weapon is stealth, zero two. Lethal force should be used only as a last resort. Just trying to get the best look I can without exposing myself here. So we've got two dudes that we've got to get around. I don't know exactly how we're going to get by this guy. It's on the water's edge. So we might be able to get around them. While he's looking away. Try to get in those other reeds up there. If I can. Oh, I can go underneath this. Pedal slowly when hostiles are nearby. You don't want to get hurt. I've never found this way before. I always just end up killing that guy. Killing that dude. That's Position three reporting. No sightings. Okay. So we're gonna advance just a little bit here so we can get a better look. So we have all these different potential points of interest. And two guys that we have to uh, get around. And we gotta go underneath. I don't know how we're going to get by this other guy up here. I heard something. 
criminal control. Suspicious activity detected. Checking it out. Over. Anyone found anything? I just want to kill these dudes. Get it over with. Funny thing is, is I feel like I need to uh, whisper, be quiet. <laughs> you guys are gonna hear me talking. Yeah, I think we're clear. As clear as we're gonna be. I'm just gonna wait on this dude to uh, Check the perimeter. look the other direction. Staying in the dark, right? Hiding in the shadows. Disable the radio tower. New objective. Awesome. I've uploaded a new objective to your tracker. You can display the waypoint by pressing uh, Status report. B button. So there's a waypoint. So we get run right underneath this guy, maybe to the sight line down. Just have to be quiet about it. Oh, Negan? See two ways. One looks a little easier to get to than the other. All right, so let's pull our goggles out of here. There's too many dudes that way, so we're gonna have to distract this guy.
Alright. We're good. We're underneath. Underground, yo. Dude's in here. And this game is so unique and so well done. Makes me genuinely excited for the upcoming PlayStation VR exclusive fract from this very same team. some explosive barrels if we need out of a pickle, don't we? Let's take out the generator first. Tells me we don't want that thing to see us. That's a Dracon class attack helicopter, a tank killer. That means serious funding. This militia is much better equipped than we anticipated. But uh, Oculus coming through with the serious funding, they were able to put tank killers in this game. Is it a high priority target over there? Or what? Can't even tell what it is. You can shoot it and find out what it is. <laughs> that was close. One thing about using this G2 is the, uh, you know, as great as the blacks are, it's still an LCD screen. So it's not the easiest thing to see in these darker scenarios. 
Really, a no-lead would be perfect. Oculus Quest 1 would be great for this game. But then again, if we were playing with the Quest 1, it wouldn't be so crystal clear right now either. So it's a trade-off, as is the case with most things. Hurt myself, I believe. It was a little too close to that uh, tank before I blew it up. Some reeds over there. Pretty good about not wasting ammunition, lady. They put the bot right on me, didn't they? This thing is unsafe. I'll have to find a yeah, it looks like there is another something they used to distract over there. If I can get it from here. Can. So we have to watch the pattern of their light maybe and try to get around. Go around behind that beam there. see where I'm going. Always want to see where you're going next before you pull the trigger.
be honest, I don't really know where I'm going here. It's not giving me a waypoint. So I'm just kind of moving forward. Some explosive stuff. A couple of people to avoid. Mark and I move, move. No, wait, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. It's gonna be a way for me to distract these guys, right? Yes, yes, I know. I got in too deep. We need to take out both signal jammers so we can listen in on local communications. Okay, this am I in a different spot here or what? No, it's the same spot, but a different layout. Like this dude was over here before. Now, that just don't make any sense. And there was a dude on the boat. So are the people I killed just dead now? Is that what's up? They're gone. No, they're not. Shit, where am I going? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't know what I'm so Oh, I see. I see. I saw something. I was going the wrong way. We need to take out both signal jammers so we can listen in on local communications. I think I was going the wrong way. I think we need to get back around and go the other way. 
the other direction. Over there. This is where we need to be. Control. Returning to patrol. We will report on any activity. Over. Oh, open this thing. Get him from the other side? Well, I came in here so I could get to the other side. What the hell's going on? That is one of the things about these maps. Is, uh... You'll revisit areas. You know, different objectives. I guess I'm not supposed to be here right now going this way. I don't know what in the hell way I'm supposed to be going, to be honest. I don't see my waypoint anywhere. Keep hitting. Oh, there it is over there. That's the reason why I was having such a difficult time. I was going in the complete wrong direction. Uh, waypoint is over there. Can I go underneath that? It would be very helpful if I could. Stuff. Avoid conflict wherever possible. Get under there. Damn it, they saw me. I'm just going to chill here for a minute. I got something for you, boy. I could so easily take you out right now. This is a recon mission. Avoid unnecessary casualties. Dude, watch the way you talk to me, or I'll come for you next, Murdoch. Tried to avoid casualties, but they just didn't want to avoid me. That was their mistake, not mine. I mean, I thought these were bad guys, right? We're supposed to be killing the evil. Seems very similar to the spot I was already in, doesn't it? Yeah, we were already here, were we not? What the hell's going on? Like, there was a distraction here before, but now I think I have to go underneath.
Can I get under there? I don't think I can. I'm gonna go look anyway. No, I can. Awesome. Where's my waypoint now? I guess is it really was the question. Is this really awesome? Yeah, there we're, there's where we're going. It might be the thing we're supposed to be disabling, but possibly. Let's back up and get underneath some cover here. So is that the thing or do I need to get underneath there? You got spotlights on the water. I guess we have to time it out. See if we can get around the back. Disable the radio tower. That's what I'm working on. Oh crap. Stop. Let's go underneath here. <laughs> over there we'll just keep going in that direction okay I think I see a way in Got to time it. Get around these lights. All right, let's go. Stop here. Good. Now remove all of the power couplings. Now pull the power lever. One down. Now get Ooh. to the other target and disable. Should be showing a new objective marker on your tracking device. Well, it's all the way back behind me, isn't it?
getting quite close. Disable radio dish. Signal intercepts are good. Stand by. We may have something. There's a lot of radio chatter about well, something There's a friggin' Project boat Titan. over there. It's difficult to isolate what they're saying, though. Titan? Impossible. We bombed that operation to hell 25 years ago. Zero two, deactivate the other scrambler. Then we can get to the bottom of this. friends. Zero oh. two. There's a supply cache nearby. Take yeah, a look. Hells yeah, we'll take some supplies. Got some grenades. We'll take those. Where'd it go? Okay. That's a noise maker device. Throw it, and wherever it lands, it'll cause a destruction. Very handy. Thank you. Snapper ammo. Is that all of it? I think it is. Let's move on. Hope I had to use anything but my pistol. Now with that said, I have died a couple of times. So it might have helped to get my rifle out. Certainly would have helped to have these flashbangs. It's crazy looking. This place looks so awesome in this headset. Slowly. Let's a good look at the situation here. That's a high value target. A mark on NATO's most wanted list. They're not your primary objective, but neutralize them if you can. Yes, ma'am. Excellent work. I'll update our HVT records. Just like that. Keep an eye out for other targets, Zero Two. I think I killed this guy before as well. But only because I could. You know. I wanted to try to drag him down in the water, but I couldn't get him, I think. This is the guy that I remember. I'm pretty sure it is. Come on, let's go. Found that dead body over there. <laughs> I 
Now I do remember this place specifically because I got into a pretty brutal firefight here before. I just decided to go out in the blaze of glory here. We're gonna try to use a bit more tact this time. Three dudes here. It looks like I can, I can get underneath this one. I'm not even careful about it. Says I'm hidden. I'm ready to go underneath here and then come back around. Maybe that's what's up. like so yeah oh It's locked tight. You'd need a tool to cut it off. Give me my tool, bitch. Alright. I see a pile of explosives over there. How am I supposed to not blow these guys up? I mean, they're begging for it. So we gotta go over there. Where do we get that? Is there a generator somewhere? <laughs> I had to get the hell out of there. Sometimes you turn the corner and there's dudes right there. 
Now, the hero in me wants to just go kill all the bad guys because they hit me. I want to hit them back. So let's think about this again, I guess. There's plenty of distraction points and stuff like that. But there's a way to get around, but that's not where I'm going. I'm going over there. Maybe I have to go around to get over there. And there's reeds over here. over here so this has to be the way right and then we go through that yep that's it is this the dish that I'm coming to take down it's like my objective oh look there's a generator Run the data on that gunship. I'm trying to isolate where it came from. It's completely off the books. Black market. One doesn't tend to buy a tank killer unless one plans on using it. Be careful, Zero Two. If this really is the Titan project, then we're talking about one of the most lethal chemical weapons known to man. It can't be. I saw the bombs fall with my own eyes. But they never did find the general's body. I called a goddamn airstrike on that son of a bitch. There wouldn't have been anything left to find. Do remember this part here too? I think there's a high profile target here. There's another uniformed officer. Scan them with your viewfinder. Yep. I guess I could just use my pistol on this dude. I am hidden and the pistol has a silencer on it. What is 
Catalog is down. Repeat, catalog is down. Good work, Zero Two. work. That's one terminal down. Now disable the other two. I didn't even know I was supposed to be shooting those things. That radio dish should cease to function if you destroy the monitoring stations. Or you could get beneath it and remove the operating core. Proceeding your discretion, Zero Two. Scout and move in. Who's got me? Somebody has me. Right, I see where I'm supposed to be going now. Alright, so we just need to turn around there and get in here. Need both levers to release the hatch. ship pulling into the dockyard. You can use it as cover to make your entry. Come on, man. Almost stuck.
That's a big ass ship, yo. We're gonna Han Solo that shit all the way through the door. Marty McFly. Right on through. Stop. I thought it was going to go all the way through. I guess not. Grin. Now find out what these sons of bitches are up to. Yeah, let's find out what the sons of bitches are up to. Yes. Yes. Kill three people, yeah, so... What am I supposed to do, eh? Well, they count off any time you're seen, I guess? Yeah, there we go. Boom. Boom. Well, we'll take it. Could have done better, but hey, we haven't played for a while. So, uh, B's not so bad. And that was mission one, right? So like, um, I mean, some people fly through these things, but as you can see, if you're, if you're really trying to, you know, be stealthy, it could take a little longer. And uh, so immersive, so fun, uh, really enjoying it, and look forward to getting back into it very soon. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please, Think about subscribing and clicking the notification bell to stay up with all of our content here on Lethal Weasel VR. With that said, friends, I'd like to thank you once again for watching. We will see you another day from another game. Thanks again. Bye now. <laughs>